Hello Pisces, let's see which goddess is guiding you this month in May 2023. Green Tara, delegate. Okay, so from this card I am feeling that you will have many, many tasks this month. You will be very busy. So the green Terra is here for you to remind you that you are not alone and you don't have to do everything by yourself. She says, ask others and also me for help instead of trying to do everything on your own, okay? So this is very important because I feel that many of you are like, okay, I can deal with this on my own, I can do this, I can do that. Of course you can, but should you? Should you do that just on your own? Uh, should you be so individualistic? I'm feeling that you will benefit greatly from creating a community of sorts uh, which will help you and you will help this community as well with your ideas uh, and with the things you want to do. So really cooperation is the key for you and I'm seeing many of you as the leaders who are delegating some chores, some tasks, so if you feel like it and you're not sure if you should do it, do it. Delegate and don't do everything on your own because I feel you might get overworked if you do. Your angel for this month is the angel of the base, okay? So go back to basics in some topics in your life. Um, and really connect to your body. See, this is why I'm saying that you need to really delegate uh, the tasks to other people because if you try doing it all on your own, your health can be influenced. Your body can feel exhausted, okay? So you gotta be careful uh, this month uh, and be aware of that. Connect to your body listen to its signals. Our bodies are always speaking to us. Our bodies are storing information and if you learn how to listen to your body, how to listen to its signals, you will know exactly what to do to make you and your body feel nourished, healthy, relaxed, full of energy. And you will need that. So I know this month will be busy for you, but don't forget about taking care of yourself, especially about your body. Eat healthy. Uh, have some healthy routines. Uh, it will be very helpful for you. And listen, listen, listen to your body. I'm also hearing that some of you have stored some old energies and emotions in your body and you feel it in a way that like you have pains in many different uh, areas of your body and you don't know why. If you feel like that, I have a meditation on my channel that can help you release old negative emotions and energies from your body. Uh, so if it resonates, I will link, link it at the end of this video. But stay with me because we have more cards for you, Pisces. Let's see your spirit guides. Wow, you have the heart guardian. Beautiful. You have the traitor. Uh-huh. And wow, the sun. One of the best cards ever. This is like you're bound for success, Pisces. Just uh, see it through calmly. Let others help you, okay? Take care of your body and listen to your heart, okay? The heart guardian says, love and let yourself be loved. See, she is like, uh, embracing herself with love so that's what you should do to yourself embrace yourself with love okay connect to your heart wow 
so many synchronicities here. You really need to connect to your body and your heart because we have a heart guardian. We also have the trader. I will talk about what his message message is in a minute. But see, he is holding his hand on his heart. Your heart is very important this month. Ooh, I'm hearing a side message for some of you. If you overwork yourself to till the point of exhaustion, your heart might not uh, like it and your heart might be influenced the health of your heart so really take care of your heart pisces i'm also feeling that meditating with the energy of your heart chakra would benefit you so you can really tune in to your heart and to what it wants to tell you because your heart wants to guide you on how to do all those things that you want to do and how to do them straight from your heart so i would recommend you meditate with the energy of your heart chakra if you need help with that i also have a meditation with your heart chakra's energy guided meditation i will link it at the end of this video but let's get to the trader. So I'm feeling this month for you is very good for business, for work, career, money. However, remember, remember not to overwork yourself and to delegate tasks and to listen to your body. But really, if you take care of yourself and at the same time conduct business, uh, do some project when you delegate when you create a community when you all work together uh, the exchange of energy creates abundance okay this exchange of energy is very important exchange it from heart to heart so if you meet someone in your on your business path and you feel like you don't resonate with them they're weird move on there will be more people. I'm seeing a community. I'm seeing a community that is really supportive and all everybody is benefiting from this business. So you are bound to start creating an abundance and like very good business in May because you have the sun and the sun says enjoy success and happiness. So what more can I tell you? Like you are bound for success Pisces. Just remember about yourself. Let's see what the Akashic records have to say to you. You have grace, faith and community. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I know why I've been seeing this community. Yeah. You really need to create something for the community that you're living in. That will give you a lot of success. Especially like with those cards. Grace. Open up to love, compassion and remember that you are loved unconditionally. See? So much energy of the heart in this reading. Like heart, heart, heart everywhere. Really. Meditate with the energy of your heart chakra. It will do wonders for you, Pisces. So I'm feeling that you are helping yourself, other people. Many of you are creating job opportunities for others. You're thriving because of it, okay? And you delegate tasks and you are very gracious towards yourself and others. And uh, really have faith that it will all work out. Release the need for control and trust the higher forces, okay? This is something you're supposed to do. So don't push yourself, don't overwork yourself because you, you think it should go a certain way, you should do it on your own. Uh, you're not alone, okay? You're not alone and like whenever you feel like you should do everything on your own because nobody will help you or uh, nobody knows how to do it better than you and you're afraid they will mess it up, have faith, okay? Because all of those fears are connected to the need to control and you need to let go of that. It will flow. 
The heart doesn't control. The heart lets you be in the vortex of abundance and the flow of life and love. So really surrender to this flow of heart energy and have faith because your actions are creating a community. Find a community which will help you, support you and your growth. So you are growing, the community you are in is growing because of your ideas, because of your project, because of your business. Take whatever resonates because this is a collective reading, so it will be different for all of you. But really, you are creating something magnificent for yourself and the community. Wow, Pisces. If this resonates with you, please like the video, share it with someone, comment it, subscribe to my channel. I'm really curious what you think. If you want to win a free private reading with me, the instruction on how to do it is in the description of this video. If you'd like to purchase a reading, please email me. The email is also in the description. But Pisces, remember, delegate chores, remember, take care of your body and remember, connect to your heart. If you want to cleanse your body from negative emotions and energies, such meditation is popping up on the screen for you. And if you want to meditate with the energy of your heart chakra, that meditation is also on the screen. Thank you for watching. I'm sending you lots of love, light and everything good.